Well, hello? The Immortal John Hancock here today with a special product review. Analog, the company behind the Super NT, has reached out and sent me a review copy of their new FPGA console, the Mega SG. The Mega SG plays Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, Sega Master System, as well as Sega CD games, that's right. In this video, I'm going to do unboxing, compatibility, comparisons, and give my final verdict. Let's check it out. All right. Here's the unboxing of the Mega SG, and it's important to note that it does not come with a controller. The 8-bit do M30 2.4 wireless gamepad is sold separately. It is on their website, but they did send me one for this review. And the console itself looks awesome. It's like the combination of a Sega Genesis console and an Atari 7800. It's got some great features. It does take an SD card and there's a slot on the side of the unit in the back. There's HDMI and power inputs and it's got a really great look to it. Underneath as well it reveals that yes you can hook this up to a Sega CD Model 1 and 2. It also comes with a spacer so that you can hook it up to the Sega CD 1 and 2 accordingly. And it's like a it's like a mouse pad, but it's pretty cool. Simple instructions kind of tells you all that it's included, and I really enjoy this whole package. It's got a really nice professional look to it. To round out the package, it comes with a USB cable and power plug, an HDMI cable, and all these things are high quality. But the best thing it comes with is a Sega Master System adapter so you can play your Master System cartridges with your Mega SG. Pretty slick. The strength of the Mega SG is all the different settings that are in the menu. And so I really like that you can tinker around and make the game play the way you want. There's tons of video options. There's resolution options for depending on what type of TV you are playing on. And so I really like that screen size. You can make it a square, you can make it 4.3 for 69 with additional options on height. There's scalers built in, there's no scalers. You can really, really just play around with how you wanna play your games and how they look. Scan lines, there's normal and hybrid scan lines and even scan line depth options. There's an advanced mode as well that offers additional features. I really like that. And that's just for the video. You go into the audio and you have lots of audio options. Make sure to enable the cartridge and CD audio if you're using your Sega CD with your unit. You go into system and you can even manage the font and the color of the font in your unit. I really love that. And there's all different types of options here. You go through and you, there's just an option for everything, even boot sequence delay. I mean, I love this. But the most important options are right here, USA, Japan, PAL regions. Make sure the right ones are set as well as the auto region detection. That is important so you can play imports. And so there's even a debug mode, SD card speed, it's, it's good and important to play around with these different options. You can also update the firmware. And what I used for this review was version 4.2, which was just recently updated. Make sure to update the firmware on the website to make sure you get the most recent version. Another great thing about the Mega SG is it includes Ultra Core, which was originally titled Hardcore it was an unreleased game from 1994 from DICE, that's right, Digital Illusions. And so this is an amazing run and gun space game. And I just played a little bit of it, but this from what I played is amazing. And I really like that this is included just like the Super NT that had Super Turrican, Director's Cut included. This is a great feature that's exclusive to the Mega SG. This is an unreleased game. And it's just got some amazing sound and graphics and gameplay. 
This game kind of reminds me of a combination of several games that I enjoy. It has the Aliens slash Terminator feel to it with a little bit of Contra and a little bit of Metroid with exploratory areas that are large and you have to solve some simple puzzles. Lots of weapons and bombs and bosses. I really have enjoyed what I've played so far. The Mega SG is compatible with many games and accessories. Some will be shown in this video. It is compatible with the three and six button Sega Genesis controller. It is compatible with the six button arcade stick. Both M30 Bluetooth and 2.4 wireless game pads work with the console. I do recommend the 2.4 wireless game pad, as well as many third party Master System adapters do work for Master System. However, the 3-in-1 adapter for the Retron 5 does not play Game Gear games on this console. In this video, I will showcase many working games and options. So here we go. Using the Sega CD spacer that comes with the Mega SG, it is easy to hook this up to a Sega CD Model 2 as well as a Model 1. And it was simple to do. And I'm just showing how easy it is. Just make sure it's connected accordingly. It was really great to see that the Sega CD Model 1 is also compatible with the Mega SG. It was nice to revisit some of the gems from Sega CD library and play them in 1080p, 60 frames a second. I mean, I was just really excited about you know firing up my Sega CD, which I haven't fired up in a while. And to have it look so great, you know, playing original discs, this is a wonderful, wonderful, probably the strength of the Mega SG is its compatibility with Sega CD add-on. For people that want to play aftermarket, backup, homebrew, the Mega SG has no problem playing these games. And so what you're looking at is the famous Desert Bus from Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. This was an unreleased game. And <laughs> it's playing it great. This is Sonic. This is pretty much the timeless classic that many clones are evaluated on. And as you can see, it is running great. You know, there's several clones out there. This is not going to be an exhaustive comparison. But I think that the Mega SG is running Sonic really better than any other clone console. And so uh, that should be noted. There's a lot of additional options that you can do. You also got normal scan lines, and that's kind of cool if you want to play old school. And using the 8 Do M30 controller, you can jump right back into the game. Pretty sweet. And you have normal scan lines, and then you also can go into settings. And you also got hybrid scan lines. With hybrid scan lines, it's got a nice kind of throwback retro look. I like it. And I had no problems playing Sega Genesis games off my EverDrive cart. One thing to note, I had an issue playing Master System games. I don't know if that's a setting. I had an older EverDrive cart. It could be lots of different things, but not too worried about that. That can be updated. And so just want to say that, you know, the games look great. There's lots of different settings. All right. Really nice to see that Virtua Racing runs great on this. And so I'm really happy. Uh, this is just one of a few carts that really don't run on hardly any other clones. I know the Mega Retron, it can run this game, but this runs it in 1080p, no problems too. So uh, really nice to see that. You know, it's just one of those fun games that, you know, is kind of a special chip included in Virtual Racing for people that don't know, but it gave a lot of clone consoles problems. And so nice to see that the Mega SG not only runs it, but runs it flawlessly. So really happy to see this. To make sure that you can play imports, make sure that in settings, you go to system, you go to hardware, that you have this, the auto region detection on. And you know, I'm in US, so NTSC is checked as well. And you go back here and I'm running Fatal Fury, Sega Mega Drive cartridge, no problem boots right up and really excited to have this work. I want to say that it played aftermarket reproduction carts, no problem. So this is a aftermarket cart that I got of Mega Man The Wily Wars and this is a kind of fairly expensive game and so this is playing great 
on the Mega SG. Mega SG also plays bootleg carts with games that were made for the Sega Genesis aftermarket. Weird stuff such as this, which is a pirate version of Super Mario World. A game that looks like Mario Brothers in which you can shoot fireballs but can't jump on things. Anyways, yes, it plays strange carts like this, Super Mario World, which was again an aftermarket game for the Sega Genesis. Once the adapter's in, you can play Master System carts. And what's really cool is also an additional feature of the Mega SG is that the FM chip sound capabilities are enabled. And so it's so neat. Games like Shinobi have additional sound capabilities built into them. If you want to turn off the FM sound, and I wanted to show you the difference, you just hit the home button. I'm using the 8-bit Do M30 controller and you go to settings, and then you go down to core options, and you can turn off the FM sound. Just for comparison, this is Shinobi running with the standard sound. So it is a big difference, and I think it makes a huge difference with the game. And it's a timeless classic. All right, import games on the Mega SG, no problem. And this is Ninja Gaiden. One of my favorite Master System games. This is something I would like to beat sometime. And it just, you know, never came to the States. So it's nice that it's running full speed. And so it's nice to see that this is running great and looks great too. The The options on this console are, per, are pretty amazing. And so just really need to see that it can play so many different games, no problem. And I really like that it comes with a Master System adapter. All right. My final verdict with the Mega SG. I think this does many things right. It has wide range of compatibility with Master System, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, Sega CD, and Mega CD. It also does homebrews and hacks. I love that about this console. I really like that you can actually hook it up to a Sega CD and play your actual Sega CD games. I think for me personally, I haven't played a lot of these games in a while. And so I think that's a wonderful feature. I, I just think it's brilliant. That's in my opinion, the best feature about this FPGA console. Now, the cons, you can't play light guns. Me, personally, I don't play a lot of light gun games, so that's not a big loss, but there are some fans out there that play those games. There's other clone consoles that can do that. Also, it doesn't play 32X or Game Gear games at this time. Analog is looking at that in the future and working on some options for people that want to play those games on this. At this time though, you can't play those games on the Mega SG. Also, there's no hot swapping with carts. You have to turn the console off to insert a cartridge to play a game. So that's a minor hindrance that some other clone consoles have the ability to do so. I would like to thank everybody for continuing to tune in to my humble channel as I march towards 90,000 subs. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for the continued support. I do a lot of Sega product reviews as well as old and new games on my channel. If you're new to my channel, come check it out. I do three videos a week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.